Happy New Year to you and yours, and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, the first episode in 2020. If you're watching for the first time, well, welcome, and be sure to get analysis of the biggest entertainment stories right here and very consistent. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors, Ewa Oluwa Rutu and Ife Oluwa Oshokeye. We wish you a happy new year. We <laughs> wow. I thought he was going to form my hand, but we thanked you. We wish you a happy new year. <laughs> Happy New Year's. Oh, goodness. I was really waiting for him to end it. <laughs> what do you want to say? Mm. But Happy New Year to yeah, everybody. Happy New Year to mm. everybody. It's a mm. fresh... Um, and let's do 2020 again. I mean, we did 2019 with you guys. Mm. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. The good one, the bad ones, the ones that came for Ifeh. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that came for me, you know, I mean, it's it's fun and they're just watching and they're enjoying the show and they're just doing their um, constructive criticism. So keep coming for us. We appreciate you coming for us, actually, because that's the only way we can get better and start you better. If I drink your tea, drink your tea. Oh, I do say something. It's a brand new year. <laughs> I will right. just keep quiet. Mm. Mm. Okay, we start um, with Nigerian singer Timmy Dakolo's New Year message. Um, I don't know if it's a New Year Eve message, no New Year message, but he says God is not a money doubler. In a message he said on, shared on his Instagram page, he advises people to invest their money in order to prosper. He said, and I quote, don't let anyone stand on any pulpit to cajole or manipulate you. Invest in yourself and your business so that God can bless the world of the work of your hands stop running to drop your hard-earned money every time they say so for 24 hours miracle god is a god of order end of quote mm. i think timmy dakolo has rebranded from his um spiritual beliefs and um what he has been practicing for years especially with the type of experience he went through in 2019 because i think that's one of the biggest stories that broke the internet when his wife um Basola Dakolo spoke. So it's no news that we have fake pastors everywhere. We have people that are either in the name of serving the Lord and preaching the gospel and doing contrary to what the gospel actually preaches. So um I'm sorry, I have to bring Daddy Freeze into this, but Daddy Freeze is one of the people that hasn't been of the opinion of um you dropping tights and all of that. And then we had this chat where a couple of people said that oh I stopped being tight and things got better. I was able to get more saving. I think Uti also jumped on that bandwagon. So I think 2020 is a year to know exactly what works for you. If you know that you have been paying tights for all your life and then you don't actually see the actual change, then I think it's a time to reflect and be like, okay, if I save that tight, like for example, if I'm making like um, ten million dollars a year, and you're telling me to um, drop, so you're making um, ten million dollars a year, and your life is not I okay. What are you looking for? Please use like. I said for example. Uh, the other example is I'm not making, in place. No, no, I haven't even gotten to the bottom. Okay, of it. All right. I said if I'm making ten million dollars a year, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you expect me to be dropping one million, which is ten percent of ten million, right? Mm -hmm. A year. And um, if I'm able to, that means I'm left with nine million naira, um, nine million, nine million dollars. dollars. Mm. So if I'm able to save that my one million dollars mm. to still <laughs> consistently have my ten million dollars mm -hmm. and invest in other things, and things actually get better for me, mm. it's what works for me. So I think this is um, actually a debatable conversation. If people have actually seen the glory of God after they have dropped then please, by all means, keep dropping. If you don't see any changes so far, mm. then I think at the end of the day, just do what works for you. 2020 is a year for you to make personal decisions that work for you. So I understand where Timmy is coming from. Um, don't let anybody deceive you by saying in 24 hours. If that 24 hours passes and you haven't seen anything, Please, my brother, you're being deceived. And then we have fake pastors every day, everywhere. And then um, the church business has actually become a very lucrative <clears throat> business. Okay, I want. Okay, for me, I, I don't think um, Timmy was even talking about tight. Mm -hmm. I think he was talking about this other. I wasn't saying Timmy was talking about tight. Tights. I only okay. use that as an example. I didn't say you said that anyways, but I think he was talking about altar call. And for me, when it comes to giving to God, I think it's a very personal thing. Even nobody should come and form work on this thing. Get close to your God. 
I know what he wants from you, to be honest. That's all I just have to say on this. Mm. Because this thing is very deep. It's deeper than, I mean, what uh, the surface that everybody's just speaking it and, you know, talking about it. For me, I feel like just get that personal conviction with God, then you do what's, you know what's right. He will tell you what's right and you know what to do. Mm. For stories like this, I, I, I let people decide what they want for themselves yeah. because I feel like um, your spiritual journey is a personal mm -hmm. thing. However, there are, <clears throat> I mean, I've been in a church gathering where the way you are being asked to sow seed, which is what he's talking about, mm. is um, becomes very aggressive. And at some point, it makes you feel like if you don't sow this seed, you'll never, you'll make, never it. make it in life. Right. And you, you might even want to borrow to sow mm. the seed, right? And they play with your intelligence, they play with your mindset, and use the words that will, from the Bible that will make you feel like you just have to do it. But at the end of the day, for me, what I'll pick out from this message from Timmy Dakolo is just for us to be practical. So um, you're, you have, you're making, or let's, let's go as low as it can get. So you're making 50,000 Naira a month, and um, you are told that if you sow, let's say, your first salary of the year, that your income will be doubled or God will bless you and all that. I agree, God blesses people. There, there's something called miracle. I've experienced mm. it myself. There are favors that could come from anywhere, but you cannot live your life based on you depending on some miracle. So mm. you going on the way or your boss being nice enough to send you double your salary or something. Like, you, there has to be practical steps for you to be able to double your income. So there has to be something you're doing. He said invest in yourself, invest in your business. I mean, that's basically so what if you're mean. dropping whatever you're dropping with the mindset that when you get home and not putting the hard work in your crafts or mm. do the things, take the necessary steps and God will just double your money then, you will just keep giving people, people that have free mastered money. the art of <laughs> saying the right words to get into your heart free money. And at the end of the day, if you do not get double, you will say, oh God, it's not my time, my time is coming. Eh, mm. Whenever your time comes. So I think basically we should invest in ourselves, know what we're doing, understand why you're doing what you're doing. Nobody's saying don't pay tight. Nobody's saying don't sow seed, but mm. do it with your wisdom intact. And if you don't have wisdom, borrow one. I think, so I'm, I think just going to pick on, on um, I'm just going to pick on the last part, like Elsie um, did. Just invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. To be honest, don't wait for somebody to come and say, in the next 24 hours, something something will happen. In the next 58 hours, something something. I mean, just calm down, sis. Work hard and stay focused. Pray to God, your prayers will be answered. Mm. I mean, we've had. I'm not trying to bring down religion or God, but we've had people that don't even believe in God and they are doing well. Mm -hmm. do you, do you get what I mean? So mm -hmm. don't say that. Even the Bible says, work hard and pray hard. Mm. Do you understand? So don't just depend on the church to give you double money. Work hard. <laughs> Okay, except we want to add to that. We move to the next story. And then 2020, stop. I claim it. I receive it without huh. walking towards what you are claiming and receiving. Okay. Mm. <laughs> because you are claiming it. Because you claim this is the day. Exactly. I was going to say, I will claim it and I will receive it. Too. And you okay. walk towards it, right? Of course, yeah. Mm. Exactly. So moving on to the next story. T Bills releases official statement confirming end of his management deal with Tasha. The statement revealed that the decision was made on the 17th of December 2019. He also noted that this would officially take effect on. On January 16, 2020, as the team would finalize ongoing brand engagements. Mm. Okay, so um, from what T Bills wrote, um, what I what I understood from it is that from the onset, the agreement was a three months yeah. um, um, agreement that I will manage you for three months. So if they are going to renew it, it is for both of them. It's to decide, I mean, yeah. T Bills has to decide that he really wants to manage a Tacha, and Tacha also has to decide that, well, T Bills has mm. done, is, is worth um, being my manager. So whatever it is, I'm happy that um, this is. And then amicably, although yeah. trust our pessimist people online, they're like, we're still waiting for the truth, <laughs> the true tea, the real gist <laughs> to come out. But I'm really happy, and we have to give it to T Bills, regardless of whatever anybody's opinion is. He really worked hard on the Tatcha brand. And you know, the rebranding was mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. I was personally impressed because it just went from like, uh, zero to hundred. He did a mm. great job, and I'm sure Tasha. I'm, I'm not. To be honest, I'm not expecting any negative story out of it. It's normal that 
you manage someone for three months and maybe there are other things on his table and he's like, see, I'm not good in, I'm, I'm not in that position right now to put you on board for a very long time. And then she's like, okay, no problem. Or she feels that I can manage myself. Do you understand? I, do, I mean, they, everybody does, is, how do I put it? Every contract does not have to end with a fight or bad blood or anything like that. I'm not expecting any sad story or any terrible story from this. Okay. But, <laughs> I'm happy that, like you rightly said, they are ending on a good note, and let's watch out for the new toucher. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to TBOs. Um, they actually proved everybody wrong, because when this story broke, a lot of people were not even expecting it to last this long. They said it would end in tears. You can trust the man who doesn't have any credibility and all of that. But I think um, TBOs has been able to um, water the storm mm -hmm. and worked on the brand Tatcha who um, left the Big Brother house on a bad note. And right now, she's getting a lot of endorsement deals. She's getting a lot of recognition. She's been honored by dignitaries and, and all sorts. So I think TBUs did a great job with um, Tatcha in their three months. And being a three months agreement, I think it did a whole lot for her. And um, I like the fact that there's no razzmatazz, there's no back and forth for them, for the board and them to squash this agreement. Mm. It came out, and before um, the rumor mongers get to work and start spreading rumors of what ex uh, happened, like they have the inside gist, and um, a close source to Tata, like we like to call them, said um, TBUs was making sexual advances. Uh, no, I'm just, that's an example. You are the one that's starting the I mean, you're you already now. thinking just, for them. Just <laughs> give <laughs> TBUs like, the kudos such things they put out a statement to let mm. you guys know just to quench the fire and make sure that um everything whatever works. it is i feel like it's a good thing on both sides mm. um he did his job as well as he could do it um could it be done better maybe i don't know but um i feel like he he also gained from it. I mean, you managing someone means that you're getting a pie of the cake. So good luck to both of them. And we'll mm. see where this leads. And good luck to Tatcha also. It's time for a quick break. But when we come back, we have more for you. <laughs> 